Hey, what's up guys? So I just uh, cleared out my terminal here. Uh, you can either press 1 or Control c to exit the Python program. So we're just going to keep going with this code here. And I'm just going to, I think you guys kind of see how this API works and how um, you can access data using this structure right here. So I'm not going to print out the JSON data anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and um, write these in without printing out the JSON data. And you guys have this comment down here if you want to print out the JSON data. And um, just remember that anything that has an angle bracket inside of JSON is an array. So you need to specify which index of the array you want your data from. So let's just go all the way through with this code. Um, so we're gonna say, So we're going to change album results to be at the next level down because inside of the album results JSON data, there's a parameter called items and that's where it has all of the data that we want. It has all of the album objects. So we're just going to say for item in album results. So this is going to loop through each item in the album results. We're going to print album. plus item name. So this is going to be the name of the album. Then we're going to say the album ID is equal to item ID. And the album art equals item images zeroth index um, URL, and next we're going to extract the track data from each of these albums. So we're going to say track results equals Spotify object dot album tracks. And we're going to pass in the album ID. So let's see that in the API. Album tracks has the album ID. The default limit is 50 and the offset default is zero. All we need to pass in is the album ID. Um, so let's keep going. So track results. And we're just gonna go down to the next level like we did with the albums. And then we're going to go through to them. So for item and track results, we're going to print out the incrementer. We're going to typecast it to a string. We're going to print out the name of each track. And then we're going to go to get the URIs of the track, which is kind of like the ID. It's very similar. Spotify kind of, um, you can either say the ID, the URI, or the URL, and then it'll grab the data from that um, specific item. So we're just going to append um, the URI of the item. So each time we loop through this, so first we're gonna be looping through the album results, and then we're gonna be going into an inner loop, a nested loop, and looping through the track results. And we're also going to append the track art. And this is the album art from up here, because each time it loops through a track in this album, it's going to be assigned the same album art for the entire album. And then let's increment our incrementer, C plus equals one. And then let's go down a level and create some space. Um, and then we need to be able to see the album art. 
if we specify a certain track we want to see the art from. So we're just going to say wall true song selection equals input enter a song number to see the album art associated with it. Or they can say X to exit. And then we'll say if song selection equals X, that actually needs to be in quotes. Um, then I'm going to break this um, inner loop. And if, it, if it's not X, then we're just going to say web browser dot open track art. So this is our list, and we need to get the list at the index of type cast of int song selection. And that should be it. Let's try and run it. Save it. And we'll run it up here. Say zero. Kendrick. There it goes, it's putting them all out. Um, enter a song number to see the album art associated with it. Let's say 173. There it is, untitled, it's number seven. Um, how about section 80, 154? Yeah, there's the album art for section 80. Press X to exit. And then we'll press one to get out of here. And we also printed out some JSON data, so let's get rid of that real quick. Um, right here. Now let's save it. Um, so yeah, that about does it. I think we've completed the program. Um, I might add some more menu options and kind of um, add on to this video series. So if you guys enjoyed it, um, if you were able to successfully complete it, please leave a like and subscribe, and um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. I really do like this Spotify API, though, so I'll probably be doing some more work with it, and yeah, have a great day.